We have not seen any significant change by way of uh, monthly issuance. The maximum range to the range of offer by way of volume is about 155 billion. Uh, but there is a new bond injected into the schedule. It is um, 2045. It's not in existence at all. And then there is a 2026, which was in existence, which had been issued initially, but is now being reopened. Uh, the 2026 trade is at 7%. Uh, the 2045, we expect to trade at the range of the 2050, I mean, which had been offered uh, in the last uh, couple of months. Uh, what we are expecting is that yields will continue to go down, uh, given the restricted or limited amount of security debt instruments that are in the market, comparing that to amounts of instrument maturing from the OMO uh, line of debt, uh, which funds cannot be reinvested into uh, the OMO since uh, last September. Uh, basically, the advantage right now goes to the debt management office, uh, who plan to raise short-term debt for those securities around 2023, 2026 at single digits. These were debt instruments that would have been issued at 12 to 14 percent, and we expect that this month, the 2026, which has been reopened, may end up at around 7 percent, which is about half. That is halving the cost of uh, uh, former cost of this uh, initial debt uh, instrument. So basically, that's what's going on on the uh, sec uh, securities uh, debt trading side. Uh, there's still a lot of quiet on the uh, treasury bill side, simply because system liquidity is still very low. There was CRR debits today. I don't have the aggregate figures, but there were some debits today. Uh, federal allocations have, have yet to be injected into the system. So um, it's still system illiquidity that is... Um, uh, influencing our trading pattern. Yield curve is still uh, positive. However, uh, it, it's declining. Yields are declining generally on depth, the depth market given uh, the reason I stated earlier. All right, Bankole, let's uh, look at what we can expect from the, the inflation figures and the impact on the market. We see at 12.56%, um, any chance that we've seen uh, probably um, investors earn above that figure um, in, in going forward? Honestly, that is a tough call. Uh, with inflation, the CPI at 12.56 from 12.34. Uh, if you check the major driver of this price uh, movement, general price movement is food which has inched up from 15.04 to 15.18. We do not see this uh, abating anytime soon. In fact, if you look at the new policy where FX sales will be restricted to maize uh, product importers and auxiliary uh, products who are related to maize, we expect an initial price increase on, uh, that, on those maize products uh, simply because of hoarding and initial you know, speculative trading on this commodity before... Uh, things ease up. So we expect this to impact food uh, price increase and CPI as a result. So we expect that in the next coming month, CPI will continue to inch up, even as uh, debt and interest rate securities continue to uh, moderate lower. So the real rate of return right now, generally in Nigeria, is negative, and then there's room for a wider gap. A negative wider gap is, is, is expected, given uh, further increase in inflation and uh, possible and continuous uh, reduction in yields generally across the uh, securities call. All right, Bank Pele, what about the bond space? Are we going to see more bargain hunting happening going into next week? Oh, yes, this has been happening already, and a lot of it has to do with speculation of where the next bond auction results will stop. Uh, if you look at the last auction, the 2050 stopped at 12.15. But in the secondary market, the nearest security closest to this is trading at about 10.5. So we expect the 2050 to drop big time this time around. 2045 is a new uh, bond on offer. We expect it to stop around 10%, 10.75 also. For the 2035, which stopped at 11% at the last auction, we expect this bond to the yield of this bond to drop to as low as 9.8 to 10% level. There is the 2023 bond is no longer on offer, 
and the shortest now on the schedule is 2026, which is a reopening, uh, which is going to trade in around 7% of the market. Of course, with the removal of 2021 from the market being uh, too short to trade below one year, uh, 2026 comes to focus uh, uh, of those who trade on the shorter end of the uh, bond curve. Uh, 2026, 2025, 2023 will become more depressed by the way of yield and more expensive in pricing in the coming weeks. 